Although the bridge in CS2 was great, did a lot of things, one of the things I always wished for, along with many of you, was that it would be faster. So with the bridge CS3, that was one of the first areas of concern, was to make the bridge faster. So how do you do that? Well, we looked at um, not only what we were doing, but uh, some people would compare us to like the competition. Like, not that really bridge has a lot of competition because it's not a cataloging tool, but they compared us to cataloging tools. And they said, well, when I open it up in XYZ program, it's much faster. And then we looked at what they were doing, and what it is is that Bridge CS2, when you, when you point to a folder, the first thing it does is goes through and renders all the thumbnails high res. So therefore, you wait, because it has to do that. And the more images in that folder, the longer it's going to take. So with Bridge CS3, we now made it a preference and an option. So for example, if I go up to my uh, preferences, and I um, go to thumbnails. When generating thumbnails, generate quick thumbnails or high quality thumbnails or convert to high quality only when I click on them, which I'm liking the sound of that because that's kind of the best of both worlds. Quickly draw everything, but if I really want to see something in high res, don't build a high res thumbnail until I click on it. So I'm probably going to convert or change my setting to that. But here's where the biggest speed gain came up. Now, let's say I didn't do that. Let's say I didn't do the uh, quick thumb or do the convert to high res when preview. If I click OK and I click on um, this image, if I right click on that, and what I can do is say generate high quality thumbnail. So if you don't turn on the do it when I click on it, you can always do it selectively for the images you want to generate a high, thumb, high quality thumbnail for. And of course, it's much faster because you're only doing selectively the ones you pick versus it having to do the whole folder and you may never even preview those images. So generate a high quality thumbnail is one option uh, that you'll, you're going to want to know about in the bridge. And again, if I were to go back to my preferences, Okay. Again, I would probably go ahead and convert it or set it to this setting. Now, while we're in the um, preferences, one of the other things I want to talk about while we're here is you'll notice that in the bridge now, the, the background's a lot darker. So now you can selectively control the user interface brightness, which is the panels on the right and left hand side, and the image backdrop brightness. So if I make that wider or darker. Now, why would you change it from one to the other? If you're in more of a photography situation, you probably want it darker or even maybe black so that you can see the images without any extra color being introduced into it. But if you're a designer, you may want to see what it looks like on paper. So you may want to brighten it up to see what that image would look like on a white background or a white piece of paper. So again, it's a preference, your choice. If I do the other one, I had a uh, guy accost me today, you know, wanting this. He basically wanted the interface to have a white background with black text. And I said, because he was complaining about it in, in Lightroom, and I said, well, I'm pretty sure in Bridge you can do that. So I got a chance to test it just now. And yes, you can do that. So if you want a white interface with black text, you can do that just by simply sliding the slider. So both of those sliders are independent of each other. Now also, you'll notice that in your favorites, you can turn on and off the things you don't, you want or don't want. So for example, if I'm, if I'm never gonna buy uh, stock photography, I can turn off Adobe Stock Photos and just have that not be an option on the favorites. But if I am, then I can have that on. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK on this. And the next big area of improvement or area that will speed up your workflow is the new filters panel. Now the filters panel, when you click on a folder, for example, if I go and click on this multi-place folder, notice how the filter panel quickly updated and changed. Basically what it said, or what it did, was it looked at everything in this folder, 
and then it read all the metadata and populated this area. So it said, okay, you have one InDesign document, one JPEG, one RTF, and seven TIFF files. None of your documents have keywords. And here are all the dates that they were created and or modified and the orientation, which ones are landscape, and aspect ratios. So it just grabbed all of that information from the files immediately. Now that information is not just for you to look at, it's not there just to be pretty. That information is there for you to be able to quickly narrow down an image. I'm looking for those seven TIFFs, show them to me. So I just click that and it now eliminates everything else in the folder and shows me just those TIFF files. I'm looking for that one lowly JPEG. Hey, I shouldn't have any JPEGs in this folder, it should be a TIFF. So I click, ah, oh, that's the JPEG file, okay. So imagine if you had hundreds of images in this folder and being able to, within a click, narrow it down to just the ones you're looking for. And of course, that also goes for ratings. So for example, if I make my thumbnails large enough, I could actually turn on the star ratings. And the minute I do that, it now says, hey, you've got one image that's a four star rating. If I go ahead and rate this one four stars, and I rate this one uh, five stars, it'll quickly start adding those things in. If I go ahead and give this one a color label, I gave that, actually, label. I'll give that a green label. So it automatically now has added that as the metadata. So it's constantly monitoring that folder to add in to this filters panel whatever's there. So for example, if I say, well, show me all my four star images and five star images. I can add anything to this. Show me all my four star images that were created on a certain day. Show me all my JPEGs that are four stars. Show me, uh, I clicked on that by accident. Show me my TIFF files that are um, a certain orientation. So any of these multiples can be checked to quickly narrow it down to the images that you want.